Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this trapezoid as you can see in this figure with the two bases along with the mid segment. And now we are going to calculate the value of A, B, C, D and E, F. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's call this main base. I am going to call this uh, base one and this lower way base I'm going to call base two and this is I'm going to call mid segment some people call it median and now we can see that our base one is 2x plus 3 base 2 is x plus 2 and our mid segment is 2x minus 5 Here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and calculate the x value. Therefore, let's recall this trapezoid mid segment theorem. According to this theorem, a line segment connecting the midpoints of the legs of this trapezoid is parallel to the bases and equal to half their sum. Therefore, we can see that all these lines are parallel. And here's the mid segment formula. Mid segment is equal to the base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2. And here's our mid segment formula. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. Mid segment in our case is 2x minus 5. Let's go ahead and replace that one. 2x minus 5 equal to, in our case, base 1 is 2x plus 3 and then plus our base 2 is x plus 2 and then we are going to divide everything by 2. So let's go ahead and simplify everything. So I'm going to write down 2x minus 5 on the left. Let's combine the like terms on the top. On the right that is going to give us 3x plus 5 divided by 2. Let me go ahead and make a fraction on the left hand side by just putting 1 underneath and let's go ahead and cross multiply to solve for x. When we cross multiply 2 times 2x minus 5 is going to give us 4x minus 10 equal to the other way around that is going to give us 3x plus 5. Now let me go ahead and move this 3x on the left hand side and move this negative 10 on the right hand side. So we're going to have 4x minus 3x equal to 5 and this negative 10 becomes positive 10. So we got x on the left hand side equal to 15. So if we figured out our x value. So thus our x value turns out to be 15 and now in this next step let's go ahead and calculate the value of AB which is in our case is base 1 and here I have just copied down 2x plus 3 right up here and now we are going to replace this x value by 15. So let's go ahead and substitute that value 2 times 15 plus 3. 2 times 15 is 30 plus 3 means our AB value turns out to be 33. And now in this next step let's go ahead and calculate CD which is in our case base 2. And here I have just copied down this base 2 x plus 2 right up here. And let's go ahead and substitute x equal to 15 value over here. So this is going to become x we replace it by 15 plus 2 is going to give us 17 value for CD. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate this mid segment EF as you can see over here. And here I have copied down this mid segment 2x minus 5 right up here and now we are going to replace this x by 15 value. So let's go ahead and substitute that one 2 times 15 minus 
5 means 30 minus 5 is going to give us 25 for our EF. So thus our AB length turns out to be 33. CD length is 17 and our mid segment EF length turns out to be 25. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.